the compact linear collider click is one of the two main options for the next big uh, collider at CERN after the Large Hadron Collider. But the idea of click uh, is to collide electrons and positrons and create uh, many Higgs bosons, many top quarks, and make really precise measurements of those things, uh, with the hope then of pointing towards uh, the energy scale where new physics appears. We know that there's new physics at high energy scales, uh, we just don't know what it is or quite where it's going to appear. And so by making really precise measurements of the things that we know, uh, we hope to be able to point towards that, uh, that new energy scale. If, if you want to collide electrons and positrons at very high energies, uh, you really need to do that in a linear machine. If you try to do it in a circular machine, uh, the electrons and positrons radiate a lot of energy, uh, which you have to feed back in, so that's a very power-hungry process, um, and that's much less of a problem in a linear collider. It works on a two-beam scheme, so we actually have uh, two beams of electrons running alongside each other, one at relatively low energy but very high current, uh, and we extract the power from that in order to accelerate the main beams uh, which have a lower current but uh, achieve very high energies. Um, and so to demonstrate that this completely new technology uh, would work at all, uh, we've been um, developing various test stands over the last uh, five, five or ten years. The Click project is divided into two collaborations, the Accelerator collaboration and the Physics and Detector collaboration. And I'm the leader of the Physics and Detector collaboration. Um, so we're comprised of 30 institutes uh, from all around the world um, and we've been developing the detector that we would uh, build to sit on this collider um, and doing a lot of studies of the, the physics sensitivity and the, the potential of, 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 of this collider. The click's been going for a long time, for more than 20 years. Over the next five or six years uh, we would uh, like to develop a technical design report which would be the final stage before approval um, so that then um, if we went full speed ahead, we could begin construction in 2026 uh, for first collisions in 2035.